What's up, guys? Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. Uh, so for those of you guys who are new, I'm a black belt in uh, judo, a blue belt in BJJ, lifelong martial artist, and I'm 44 years old. Um, this video, we're going to talk about Kano judo versus Olympic judo. And I got a question from one of the boys. I'll read it out to you guys. <clears throat> and that's what sparked this video. And it's going to be a good one, guys. So let me read you the comments. Uh, this is from uh, Debris Town. I hope I'm saying that right. Love your videos, my friend. I have a question that would make a pretty good video, I think. And you fought right. Okay. Is the judo that they teach now even judo anymore? Mm, very interesting. Uh, Kano Jigoro layout uh, for what judo is and what should be taught and why if you really study and go into it. Uh, is it not what is not what they are teaching? <clears throat> okay, so this is very interesting. Um, there's there's a lot of things to unpack here, but let me get uh, get my notes because I prepare my notes now instead of freestyling it so that it's a little bit a uh, little bit better. <clears throat> let me play this. Uh, this video in the background for you guys, uh, old school judo. This is back in the long time. It's in black and white. And it's uh, the god of judo, uh, Kyo, Kyo, Kyuzo Mufun, Mufune. I'm probably pronouncing that a little bit wrong, but <clears throat> him doing his thing and, you know, working with his uh, students and doing a crazy, crazy job of being able to basically um, feel what the other the opponent is doing and not actually get thrown. So let me just play that in the background there. Uh, voila. Okay, so man, <clears throat> is what they're teaching because there's two there's two camps at this point, right? So there's the people who are like, oh, this is not judo anymore. Uh, blah blah blah. It's not what uh, Kano wanted. Blah blah blah. And then after that, well, there's the uh, Oh, there's all the athletes. <laughs> so I think this is not fair because I, I've been in the camp of uh, the athletes. So where like, yeah, whatever, you know, judo, it's a sport. I'm training. It's fun. Yeah, I get it. But I want to win. So I have to, you know, um, train and strategize and think um, of how I'm going to approach it and all uh, according to the rule set so I can win. Right. So it was less focused on the, you know, uh, philosophy of judo, um, the the moral code, uh, what it's all about, the martial art aspect of it, <clears throat> a little bit less because it's more sports oriented. There's there's actually nothing wrong with that when you really think about it. Now to say that is it even judo? Yes, it's it is a part of judo. It's uh, of course there's there's some changes that were made, but it's still there. Now for those of you guys who want to go deeper into judo to go get the Kano judo, well, you actually it actually starts at black belt. So you actually have to go study your your gokios and your katas. And if you do that, it's gonna start making a lot more sense. You go deeper into the martial art aspect of it than if you only get to um, black belt. Okay, so let's let's talk about what is Kano judo or judo, and then. We'll talk about Olympic judo afterwards. We already touched on Olympic judo a little bit, <clears throat> but I'm going to go into some detail. So for judo, there's three three things. And I got this uh, from reviewing one of the videos from uh, Shadi, who does a lot of videos and deep uh, analysis on, uh, on judo and the history of it all. And it's very, very interesting. So I encourage you guys to go check that out. <clears throat> and there's three things. Judo, okay, has, it's for moral development. Actually, three things, sorry. Moral development, okay, which includes, of course, the eight uh, moral codes of judo, which is uh, courtesy, courage, honesty, honor, modesty, respect, self-control, friendship. Okay, that's just the moral code. Moral, it's for moral development, judo. That's what it's, 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 uh, its intention is for, its purpose. Uh, then there's physical development. So, yes, you, have, you need to have a strong body. Okay, and then for intellectual development. So that means that you can't be a dumbass. You have to be smart. You have to be educated. And the whole purpose of judo is to actually benefit society. You know, there's the concept of mutual benefit. 
And of course, there's also the concept of leverage. And they say it a little bit differently, but essentially it's maximum efficiency, minimum effort. So what, what, that, what that is when you really think about it, it's leverage. And leverage can also be defined as um, how much you put in and what comes out on the other side. So you want to put in one and get out a hundred, right? It's it's a concept. It's it's leverage. And he figured this out like back in the what 1800s or whatnot. So it's it's pretty impressive. So that's that's judo, okay? And that's what that's what people are complaining about. They're like, oh, the essence is lost and all that. And now it's all about sports. It's all about strength. It's all about this. But yeah, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. So. Sports judo, it's highly specialized uh, within, uh, well, because it's a sport. So within their rule set, they did it so that one of the reasons why judo kind of became the way it is, Olympic judo, is because they wanted to make it very uh, dynamic and spectacular so that people would actually want to watch it. So if a lot of people enjoy watching it, then it's going to bring more people to the sport. So you grow the sport. So you get more people involved in judo. So it's kind of like you show them the flashy stuff. And then afterwards, when people come in and they study it, then after that, ideally, the schools, the coaches, they do a good job of uh, transmitting what judo is all about. Because it's a martial arts first. And then there's the sport aspect of it. Right. But you got to catch people with the flashy stuff. So you show them the flashy stuff. And then after that, you teach them uh, when they start training to learn the flashy stuff. Then after that, you 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 teach them judo, right? That's the way I see it. So it's it's actually a good thing, to a certain degree. Now, the rules of the sport causes the athletes to train and think a certain way. Uh, I mentioned that. Uh, hence, all the gripping, the strength work, the strategies. You know, they, they they do what they need to do to win because it's a sport, and while well, they want to win, I mean, there's. I think it's if I'm not mistaken, about 170-ish countries that practice judo. So that's a lot of countries. And that makes it so that um, uh, it was very, Kano was very successful in propagating judo. And essentially, judo is meant, it's it's a learning tool. It's an educational tool to uh, better society. And of course, how do you do that? Well, you get into the Olympics, so it has worldwide exposure, and then you get a whole bunch bunch of countries uh, going at it, you know, and it just like um, it promotes the sport and the martial art as well. So they promote the sport first, but then the martial art aspect of it, like it's 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 there, it's in the background, right? And let's see now, what was I gonna say? Da, 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 da. And there's, there's pros and cons to this. So the biggest pro. The biggest pro, in my opinion, is that judo is cheap, very cheap, because it's an Olympic sport and it has a federation behind it. Man, it costs nothing to do judo, man, nothing. And it has such an insane, uh, sophisticated, developed structure to bring uh, a kid all the way up to the Olympics, right? To bring an athlete up from zero to, you know, the highest level of, uh, of sport. You know, it's funny. It's, it's Olympic is considered amateur, but it's not, they're just not getting paid. (laughs) That's what it means. You know, they're not actually amateurs like they're, you know, because professional professional, uh, means that you're getting paid, right? That's, that's, uh, that's the way you have to look at it. Okay. Now, the biggest con, in my opinion, the biggest con, like the, oh, my God, is that because of all this, it was so competitive. Countries wanted to beat each other. You know, it was a a big pride thing, of course, which, you know, it's healthy competition, in my opinion, right? Like, it doesn't harm people to have healthy competition like this to, you know, for people to excel and to really focus and, you know, like, what else are you going to do? Like, go around causing trouble, drinking alcohol, taking drugs. Come on, man. So the biggest con is that they took away the leg grabs. You can't grab the freaking legs anymore. Ah, that, 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 it's like taking half, half, like the other half of your body, the other half of, you know, the whole, the whole art gone. And this was because supposedly it looked too much like wrestling, but that doesn't make sense because in judo, you were a gi. Like, how is it that you wear a gi 
oh, I just noticed like the video is uh, finished. So let me just, uh, I don't know, remove it so you guys can see my my beautiful mug. There you go. Okay, so they took, like in judo, there's a gi. So how is it that you can mistake in judo for wrestling? Like, okay, there's some leg grabbing going on and all that, of course, but I mean, it's beautiful. I don't know, like, like what's kataguruma? You can't do that anymore. Um, I mean, they can, they kind of modified it with just the arm and all that, but you can't grab the legs. You can't do a double leg. You can't do single legs. You can't, you know, you can't counter the same way by, you know, somebody comes in for a throw, just grab their leg, pick them up and slam them on their head. It changes everything, you know? So I think that, that is what a lot of people are arguing, like, uh, are, are pissed off about, you know, the guys who are like, where's the real judo? Like, what is this? Nah, 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 nah. You know? And I think that's the biggest, um, uh, complaint. I had a friend once, he was like a um, uh, friend and, and also a uh, teammate. He was complaining. He's like, oh, he did a competition and he, he didn't do a lot competition for a long time. And then after that, like he did not enjoy experience coming back to competition because there was no leg grabbing. And, you know, they, they met the, the rules changed and all that. And he was really, really annoyed by that. And he was like, what happened to the sport I loved? And, uh, you know, this sucks. Oh, man, it's not even worth doing it anymore. Blah, 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 blah. And I, I get it. Now, at the time, I was like, ah, you know, like you're being you're being dramatic. You know, the rules are the rules, whatever. And the rules are the rules, man. You know, but I I, I could kind of understand where it comes from, because if you started in that era where you could grab legs and all and then you come you know, you, now, like, you're like, what? I can't grab the legs. It's not it's not judo. It's not the judo I learned. And it, that makes sense. But me, guys, by the way, I started at the age of 36. I'm 44. When I started. The rules were already there. Like I couldn't grab the legs, so I, I kind of picked up judo without, you know, understanding that uh, I, I didn't have that experience enjoying competition and training like that. But when I do train Kosen style, right? There's there's still that that type style of judo where you can grab the legs. And old school judo is, if if I'm not mistaken, it's basically Kosen. You know, you can, uh, you know, the rules are slightly different, but yeah, you could grab the legs and all that. And it takes like two epons to win, not just one epon. You know. And yeah, so I, I'm not sure. I don't, my judo history isn't as good as uh, Shaddy's and all, but I think that back in the day, those the, the, like the, the rules in Olympic judo were more coast, more like coasting rules than, you know, what it is now. So I get it. So yeah, that's the, the biggest uh, con. And hey guys, we should just be grateful that, well, not just be grateful, but we have to be grateful for what it is. Like judo is, I think, practice in so many countries i think it's one of the sports that are, is the, the the most practice across like all over the planet so you know it's it's not it's not the end of the world like obviously it'd be great if they brought it back uh i mean because I've, I've i've i did i've done randori where you could grab the legs and i've done like cousin competitions and they're fun man they're really really fun it, it it changes everything man you know and back in the day just a quick story my judo coach used to tell uh, my first judo coach, like in, uh, he was from France, and he used to tell me that the the, the wrestlers would always come train with the judo judokas and vice versa, right? But they kind of stopped because well, judo didn't uh, allow leg grabs anymore, so it wasn't beneficial to you know the uh, the judo guys, you know, and the the wrestlers either, you know, so. There you go. Uh, let's see now. What, was I, what else was I going to say about this? <laughs> so me, me personally, like I, I feel as though at this point, I'm a lot less focused on competition, right? I'm actually not even competing and not even practicing right now uh, because I'm actually rehabbing some injuries, right? And I'm going to rehab it, then I'm going to come back. And of course, I'm traveling uh, a lot right now, so uh, that that has an impact. But I'll make a video about that to explain. Um, but what was I going to say? Do, 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 do. Yeah, so I'm, I'm more, you know, at, at at the basis, I'm a martial artist, and grappling just happens to be what uh, what I do the most of, and what I've been doing the longest. Uh, but I but I but I enjoy all of it. But yeah, the martial art aspect of it is is super interesting to me at this point. After getting my black belt, because when you go for your black belt, you have to do the gokyo, you have to do the kata, and you have to do all that. And since I did it for eighteen months, because there was a lot of um, a lot of screw ups, 
along the way, like scheduling wise, partner wise, injuries, all, all kinds of stuff. So it took me 18 months. I ended up practicing like the, the Gokyo and the Cat and all that just for Shodan. So just for the just for the black belt. And because of that, I developed a really deep appreciation of the martial art aspect of judo, right? More than the sport aspect of it. But the sport aspect of it is what got me in. So there you go. Uh, da, 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 it, uh, what else? So what I'm trying to say here, essentially, is Kano's judo, which is judo, is alive and well. Where is it? You got to go to Ferdan, right? It's sorry. You got to get to 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 black belt before you touch on it, really. And if it depends on the school, some schools, they, they'll push that aspect a lot. They'll 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 reinforce and emphasize um, the judo code, the judo values, you know, uh, and of course, they'll they'll make people work the newaza. They'll teach the techniques that aren't allowed uh, in the uh, in, in competition. But um, so it's not to say that all schools are more sport based. Right. And even when they're sport based, they still have, you know, like the uh, the values. At least they should. If they if they don't, then I, I think it's a mistake because then you're you're just training guys who it, it doesn't benefit the athlete as much if they don't have like everything else in the background, the martial art aspect of it. Okay, because I've seen I've seen guys who who train and who are who are just kids, you know, teenagers, and they're, and they're just pushed to compete, 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 and then they're not as um, I, I think it's gonna it, it won't benefit them as much if the, they, they were actually taught like the, the moral code and and the philosophy of judo and and all that and the, the whole martial art aspect of it right like bowing to the tatami anyways <laughs> that's that's another rant so that's the thing so here's the way here's the way I think is very helpful to look at it once you get to black belt you're actually entering let's say university okay my coach used to tell me that once you get black belt that's when you get into um you're you're with the grown-ups now okay so another way to look at it is university you just got accepted into university okay now that uh, you got your your black belt when you get your black belt your first dan show that first dan right when you get your second dan that's when you get your bachelor's in, in judo. Now, when you get your third dan, so third dan, that's when I would consider you uh, having a master's in judo, okay? Not necessarily in, in fighting skills, okay, and ability. That has, uh, that, that's part of it, but, you know, it's more about understanding the arts, and understanding the techniques, understanding the fundamentals, being able to explain it, being able to, you know, it's 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 intellectual and at the same time it's uh, physical. Okay, but less it, it you don't have to be a good like an amazing uh, national level athlete or um, what do you call it uh, Olympic athlete or whatever to get to 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 to, to get to third down. Okay, so and. The truth is there's a lot of athletes who are who, who are very um they're just horrible as uh as teachers and then then you have of course um you know teachers instructors coaches that are that are horrible as athletes right and the best i i think is to have a middle to to have both but you know it's it's easier said than done. <laughs> but in either case, you can learn from both. You know, you can learn from the athlete, you can learn from the the the, the judo uh, scholar slash intellectual. So that's the way I see it. And once you get to once you finish four, fourth and fifth dan, you essentially like uh, once you you do four, uh, you get to fifth dan. So four and five, that's when you, you essentially have your your PhD in uh, in judo. And of course, if you most of the guys who, who go up and dance and all that, they also do their like all the all the certificates, all the training, all the coaching uh, formations that they need. OK, to be able to run a school, give a class, uh, train, train athletes um, who train um, leisurely, who training kids and then even bring, training adult beginners and then training kids to high level athletes. 
I mean, they, they, they get all those certifications and all those formations. So by the time they get like fifth and and all that, it's, 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 yeah, they're deep, they're super deep and knowledgeable, uh, you know, within the, uh, regarding the sport of judo, the martial arts of judo as well. So me personally, I think I'm going to go for third Dan after that. I'm not, uh, for now, at least I'm not too interested in the, the, the two last katas. Um, oh, there's actually three other katas, right? There's, I think five in total, if I'm not mistaken, like I, I, I did the Nagino kata, at least the first three series. And then I did, and that's it. That, that was what was required. And of course I did the Gokyo. There's a certain amount of techniques that you need to know, but I plan on, you know, going all the way to third. And that's going to take a, take a little bit of time, a couple of years. But yeah, I think that I'd like to get my my master's at least in judo. You know, PhD is like, ah, I looked at the cat as, uh, not really. We'll talk about that in another video. But okay, how's this? It's been going on for 20 minutes. So that's it, guys. That's my, that's my explanation, my rant, my opinion, my take on it. You know, uh, about, you know, judo, like uh, Kano judo, Olympic judo, real judo, and, you know, the judo that they teach now. So I think that, and the thing is, you don't have to wait until you get your, your black belt to actually study judo and learn, the, you know, the real judo, the original classic judo. Like, you don't have to wait until you get to that point. Me, I kind of fell into it when I got, when I was preparing for my black belt. That's when I understood, oh, okay, okay. And of course, my, 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 my first coach, uh, like he, 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 he embedded in me a lot of uh, the judo values, the benefits, the, the advantages, the, what it means to be a black belt, a shodan. And he, he really helped me to, uh, you know, have that mindset of, going all the way. And now that I'm there, uh, you know, I mean, I finally arrived at university. I'm like, God damn, it's a, it's a beautiful sport, man. So guys, let me know what you think. Do you think old school judo, Kano judo is alive and well, or do you think that it's completely lost and ah, this Olympic shit, ah, you know, these guys, they're, they're a bunch of douches. They're a bunch of uh, meatheads. <laughs> and don't forget to like this video if um, you know and share it. Actually, share the video. It, it helps a lot more. But if you like it, it's it's good as well. All right, guys. Peace.